and uh, I have a big interest in uh, Bernie Spoon because my mum was a ward sister here sometime in the 1930s, 1940s. Um, she was Josephine Peters and she used to talk about this place and, and uh, my father would have talked to her about it and he, uh, my, my, I, whenever I was about three or four, <laughs> I used to hear my father saying, you'll send me to Purdysburn uh, and he was talking about my bad behaviour, you'll put me in Purdysburn. And again, my wife Tanya was a psychiatric nurse here in the uh, mid-80s. My brother-in-law Gary who, uh, worked as a kitchen or canteen delivery man and his friend Mimi worked in the kitchens as well and Tanya's aunt worked there too. So this was at one stage a very very big employer in the local area and the morgue was down here somewhere because I remember seeing it, it's, it's maybe long gone and my mother, I remember my mother saying in the dead of night when somebody had died they were placed on the trolley and it was her job and the porter's job to um, wheel the trolley down to the morgue and she, she said she was scared out of her wits in the dark and she was in charge of 36 one nurse to 36 patients during the night. So that's my wee nostalgic trip uh, back to Purdysburn or not Bracken Health uh, Trust. And I'm looking around these trees and I'm wondering how many of these trees were just saplings from whenever my mother was walking about and coming in off the bus off the St. Field Road there. I used to come up, up here and pick uh, my wife up, Tanya, who uh, was working here, as I said. I would imagine some of these trees would have, would have been around, but very much smaller and very, very much thinner. A couple of those old beaks there, maybe.